Hey guys, it's me, Sacred G, whatever you want to call me, and I want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Um, I love the holiday. Anywho, uh, I'm here with another update uh, of my third and fourth day of uh, working at UPS, and I'll tell you one thing, I didn't feel it until just a little bit ago, but I, my arms are fucking hella sore, and my legs are a bit sore too. Um, but that's expected. I'm not complaining about that. It actually doesn't feel too bad to me. But if you're planning on working at UPS, be expected to lift very heavy boxes. There was a box uh, before I get started uh, that I will tell for today uh, that was so fucking heavy. I, I literally said, fuck it. I am not lifting that. It was, I, it, it was beyond, I would say, 100 pounds. It could have been exactly 150 pounds, maybe even more. But it was such a huge box. I wish I got a picture so I could show you, but it was so huge. I said, I am not lifting that without help at all. <laughs> And I and, and no, the truck took off without the box, which sucks, but you know, I'm not gonna break my back over some shitty box. Okay, that's one thing, at least for me. Um, but to get on to my days, uh, they, they were all right. Um, the chick that I said that I think had autism, I, gotta, I can't say that she has it. I think she's on the spectrum, if anything. And uh, she, I don't know, she's been kind of odd. And I, I thought she was all right at first, but I realized that I don't get let, brought into conversation, like to conversate. Like uh, I, I would go and say, I went and said good morning to her uh, yesterday morning. And uh, <laughs> she didn't say good morning to me, I, or I asked her how her morning was going, and uh, she didn't even ask about me, and I'm not, you know, there to get a girlfriend, uh, that's not my intention, I, like, it's friendly banter, you know, um, and I, and I like it when I'm reciprocated back, and that never happened, and, and, and to be completely honest, I've noticed uh, that she would ask other people how they're doing, because I asked her how her weekend was, because, you know, I want to be nice, I'm not trying to get brownie points with the boss, because I'd be stupid, I just fucking hate doing that, and, uh, she said her weekend was fine, she didn't even ask me about mine, but later, she asked some other new guy how his weekend was, and I, I'm just like, how, you're a supervisor, dude, like, your job is to make me feel comfortable and to work hard to stay there. Like, I don't know. And I'm not saying people are obligated to talk to me, but, you know, if you want to keep a person there and actually get their your use out of them, you got to make them feel like they're a part of your fucking team. You know, like that that was like the most absurd thing. Uh, and, and, and this was like a continuous. This has been like so far two days of this like where she would just avoid me and not even check up on me to see how I was doing um and I'm trying to remember uh, like she would she, like when we would talk she would be nice but I, I don't know if it's she's being nice because that's the work personality or or what um another thing too that uh I really didn't care for um and that's just like the way the fucking trailers are designed like, I, I, I screwed up. I'm not perfect, okay? I screwed up heavily, and I took a picture, actually, of how bad I stacked the boxes because of the fact that the trailer is so oddly shaped, and there's literally a fucking, like, dolly just in the middle of where we put, where one of the areas to put boxes is. And it's like, I have to work around that, and there's like this fucking bolted down box where the drivers put their shit, there's garbage in it, but where they put their shit. And I and I don't understand how that is logical or fucking smart at all, or a spot to put a box is r around <laughs> bolted down obstacles, and a the only area for a dolly... Like dollies are tough to work around if you're if you're fucking with boxes and especially in the back of those trailer things. I do have a picture of that I'll show. Um, <laughs> yeah, the third day uh, was just the same. I started to notice, you know, she just wouldn't reciprocate anything I was saying, and, and it wasn't. And, I, and again, I I'm just saying this for clar for clarification. I am not really that looking for women at work. If it happens, it happens. But in, like overall, that's not my goal. Um, I'm just there to make a pit fucking paycheck, to be honest, and, and I'm really not there to make friends either, but, um, the funny thing is, is, like, she would, like, not talk to me, and, and it's so weird, she would talk to other people, and it, I just, it's, the, the vibe I got was, like, it's because I'm temporarily there, and it's, like, I've been showing up every 
fucking day so far, and now today's Wednesday, and I've been showing up every day, I don't know why I'm getting this treatment, and, and like, now the fourth day, this is just more of the same, uh, I did a lot better, my packing was a lot more cleaner this time, because I actually <laughs> stopped and thought about what I was doing, um, instead of just saying, oh, fuck it, I hate this job and all this stupid shit, you know, and, and, and don't get me wrong, no one likes working, dude, like, no one does, no one likes to, to go, I, I guarantee it's probably the trip to work that people don't like the most, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I won't get, like, too mad, I don't break anything or anything like that, I just, I'm like, ah, fuck this job, blah, 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 it keeps me entertained, to be honest, for the day, like, I even make myself laugh out of it, so that's fine, um, and so, the weirdest thing <laughs> happened between that particular manager. Uh, she um, is into women, which is fine. I don't really care about that. But what I really found weird is the fact she said that men... <laughs> she, uh, the fact that she said that um, because she had a few bad experiences, she's smarter for sticking with the woman. <laughs> Uh, okay, first of all, that's not how lesbians are, man. Like, I, I'm sorry to say that, but that was just the weirdest thing. And not only that, she was saying that women were better in every way, and then after that whole fucking thing, she li literally said she was, I think, kidding. Like, after going into this huge detail about how women are better and all this fucking weird shit, and I don't know if she was actually kidding, but I, you don't talk about that shit at work? Like, who fucking talks about... Oh, one gender is better than the other at fucking work. Honestly, and that's like a, a big fem cell, if anything, if, if that's why, it, you know, if you ever become gay because of women or because of men, dude, that's like the biggest incel type shit out there. Like, I don't know, like experimenting is one thing, but like actually thinking, you know, you, you could become lesbian or something because of the way guys treat you, <laughs> yeah. You have to actually have an attraction to women. I just thought that whole, that, like, that entire conversation, like, because I was right there. I was literally in the truck, and I could hear pretty much everything, and uh, I, I just thought it was weird. I even laughed to myself about it. I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I'm even fucking hearing this. And, uh, it's just weird. Just a weird fucking place. I don't know. It, like, no one even says hello, which is so funny. I don't do it either, because I'm not gonna put my fucking energy and say hello to somebody who fucking won't say it to me. You know, I'm not gonna do that. No one should. I would recommend you guys don't. You, you say hello to somebody, and they just kind of look at you and don't say anything back, flip them off. Flip them off and say, fuck you, and walk away. Because, and you don't, don't say hello to them again. Like, I don't know why, but the area I'm in, just, they don't say hello. <laughs> it's weird. Even, even the guy that, the, the manager that showed me around, he just kind of, I like, I look at him, I smile. He just kind of lo looks at me and doesn't do anything. And it's like, is it because I'm a temp? If that's the reason, I ain't working for you. I'm sorry. Like, that manager made me want to work there, but now I'm starting to think that it was just part of the, the dance and the fucking routine, because of the fact, oh, we, we gotta get them to work, like, I don't know, it, it just, it just seems like a fucking tangent, bro, like, the trailers are, like, the worst part, though, because of the, well, the, I don't know, the supervisor's just being weird, but, uh, the, uh, the one thing I really don't like is the trailers, like, man, those boxes have different shapes, dog. like, I don't know why we have to load them in such odd ways, and yeah, you could fit everything in there, but you gotta, you, you gotta break the rules that they put there a little bit, just to get something to fit, like, you gotta put, um, like, what is it, the, uh, fuck, it's like a 3,000, let's say, which is on the left-hand side of the fucking truck, or the trailer to the truck, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, if it's, uh, yeah, on the left-hand side, and it's a huge-ass box, and it's too big for that shelf, you gotta put it where another group of boxes are gonna go, because it won't fit, and, and they expect you to, like, to even tidy it up. It's like, do you not understand shapes? Like, don't get me wrong, I did, I did it better today, and I'm gonna continue to do it that way, unless they give me reason to not. Because so far, I am not liking the fucking, the, the, the way, like, I try to look and smile at people, so that way they can feel acknowledged that, like, they are a person, 
And if it's not done to me, I'm just not going to take the play seriously. Like, yeah, today was a little better. Uh, yesterday, I kind of had a pissy day because I was just bitching about how no one approaches me, blah, 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 blah. And, it, and, it, and it's all funny, dumb shit. It's just really done to entertain myself for the day. But to be completely honest, I do notice bullshit. And one of those things, I'm not here to fucking pick up women. I'm here to understand my boss so i can fucking work with them and i don't know and maybe become friends with my boss and not to get brownie points i don't want brownie points i think brownie points again are dumb i just you know want to get to know who i'm working for so i can understand them and i could work with them but if they're gonna be like this regardless of your disorder or if you even have one i don't give a fuck you're gonna get treated like everybody else like that's bullshit don't treat me like that like <laughs> Just because I'm a fucking temp. Like, man, this that actually ended up becoming a little rant. Like, holy crap, I can't believe I ranted about that, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. And I want to thank you and apologize for, for having this long of a video. But yeah, overall, I did the same thing. I screwed up. I had this third day I had, you know, did. This is that silver belt, too. Uh, I stacked boxes incorrectly, and they were all wonky and shit, and that's my fault, and I'm willing to take the blame, and I don't think I, towards the end, I always just throw the bigger boxes just anywhere, because that fits, because I don't give a fuck about the pattern and how it's supposed to be done, if I can't navigate through that motherfucking truck because of those long ass boxes that have those pointed ends, no way am I going to actually put it where it should go, because I'm just going to have to find a spot where it won't fall, like, I don't want to damage the boxes or anything, but it's like, Jesus, man. It's ho it's like a holy fucking shit type of thing. And I even feel bad for the people that uh, I, I work with in that belt because they have to tackle two of those motherfuckers. Two of them. They, they, they tackle two of them, and it's just so funny to me. It's like, how is that possible? Like... Uh, I, I, that, I, I don't know, man. But I, I actually, I would try it just to, like see how it was or how that would work i did it alone but i do it at my own fucking pace <laughs> like i ain't gonna bust i ain't gonna fucking bust my ass but i ain't gonna fucking you know and, and just just the supervisor treatment's just weird to me i just get this huge vibe that i made a big mistake um coming here to begin with i don't know but i'm hoping tomorrow will be better hopefully tomorrow changes my mind um or actually in a few hours but uh because I go in at 4, I'm the morning crew, if you guys didn't know, and I'm a package handler. Um, yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of like a little dismantled rant. Um, again, I'm just going to go briefly over my days. The third day was kind of was upsetting because of the angles and the shapes of the boxes. Trying to, or, or to she like, the, the thing, too, about the third day, like, at the end, she, she said, I would have told you to pull all these out and... And, and reorganize them, but it's it's a little and I was and I was like I what what like how like you know how many or how much organization you're gonna have to re go over there'd have to be two trips that needs to be taken in order to get it the way you want it like that's that's how it would have to be if you want it clean and neat for the drivers and I understand that but you know if there's boxes out the fucking ass and those little plastic bag things holy shit those things are a pain in the ass you know but yeah that's that's pretty much uh, my third and fourth day third day again was a little eh. uh the fourth day today was a lot better uh i thought i think um or yesterday uh i got the truck you know organized correctly and i even got appra appraised uh by by managers like she's not bad it's just she gives off this weird ass vibe and it's just not comfortable to be honest but uh yeah well overall uh i'll see you guys in the next one I, i'm not minding it so far but i'll see you guys in the next one peace lay fuck out